Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and in today's video I'm going to be continuing with the Matplotlib tutorial series for beginners in Python by showing you bar charts in Matplotlib. So as usual, I'm going to put my glasses on and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, awesome. So we're going to continue with where we kind of last left off. So for any of you that are now joining the tutorial series or just watching for this specific kind of video, this section, all of this up here is part of the entire Matplotlib tutorial series that I'm doing on my channel so that I'm, what my idea is to do little bit little mini videos like these and also create an entire video as well a big series that's a little bit of a side note today I'm just going to hashtag out what I did in the, in the previous section and we are going to look at bar charts in matplotlib let's go okay we'll do three exclamation marks for a bit of emphasis let's go okay so what I'm going to do today is show you how you can do bar charts in matplotlib very very simple examples and then you can extend on that with you know more data let's say but for today i'm going to keep it relatively simple so let's say we have a toy factory so i'll say let's let's say we have a toy factory uh, and it sells let's say hmm um i'll say four different types of toys okay so let's say here toys let's say it sells uh, teddies oh, like a teddy let's say it also sells oh yo-yos you know the things that you bounce and they yo-yo back up uh, what else do we have teddies yo-yos let's say it does a, a jack in the box jack in the box and then i'm trying to think of toys uh, i must admit and then let's say it does some kind of electronic electronic toy we'll say electronic toy uh, this is a very interesting toy factory it doesn't do uh, very uh, <laughs> it does some very interesting toys but either way let's say that this toy factory knows that it does these four different types of toys and it wants to you know create a bar chart of how much it has in stock let's say in stock and this is basically saying how many they have so let's say they have 200 teddies let's say they have 150 yo-yos they have 100 jack-in-the-box and let's say because this electronic toy is very popular they have 300 in stock so what we can do is we can plot a bar chart so let's say plot a bar chart of this data and very simply all you're going to do is say plt dot bar now what's worth mentioning in all of my videos that, that i've done on this channel this is the assumption that you have this installed here this import matplotlib as pyplot as plt so that's just something that, that you need to do to get started and this is in the very start of this tutorial series so we're going to say plt dot bar we're going to plot the toys on the x-axis and we're going to say okay well how many are in stock on the y-axis and let's say we want the color of these bar bar charts to be let's say blue i quite like blue and then all you're going to say is plt.show and this is what you need every time so we always need this to show the final graph we'll run this and let's see what happens whoa how cool is that so there we go we've got our very first uh, bar chart i suppose i should probably capitalize all of these just to make the kind of to make the I suppose, graph nicer. We can obviously plot on the side. So let's, you know, we can obviously plot X and Y axis and titles. So let's add that in just to, to show you that we can do that. So we'll say plot title, uh, let's say um, number of toys in stock, our X axis, so X label, and that is down here. So we'll say these are the toys, so toys. And then plot our y label and we will say these are kind of um number available we'll say number available and i'll just capitalize that so number available and is that all we want i think i think that will do okay 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 what i'll show you just before we do that is you can actually make these thinner these lines so the way that we do that is we say width and let's say we'll change that to 0 0.5 so it gets thinner. I think the default is 1, so we'll just run this and see what happens. Awesome, it's got thinner. The, the lines have got thinner and we also have our labels on here now. How cool is that? Now, what we can do is we can emit this colour in here and we'll just rerun and show you what happens. And its default colour 
is pictured. So if you want to change the colour associated with each plot, then that's how you do it. You just put a simple colour into here. So let's say we want colour is red and it'll do all red. Now something that I mentioned in the scatter plot video is how you can change each of these to be different colours and I'll show you how to do that now. So let's just do something. So that's plotting that and then we'll just put plotting kind of labels and title. I'm just kind of separating it up so you kind of understand what's going on. So what we can do is let's say we want each of these teddies, you know, each, let's say we want each of these to be certain colours. So the way that you do that is we'll say colours, we'll create a list and we'll have the different colours. So let's say red, um, let's say blue, green, uh, yellow. Yellow is quite bright, so we'll do orange. So we have this list of colours. Now what you do is instead of just writing red here, you can just simply change that to colours because that is our variable defined here. We have this list of colours, so red, blue, green, orange, and that hopefully that is what each of these will you know, change colour to. So we'll rerun this. Am I? Yeah. Cool. How awesome is that? So we've changed each of these to be different colours now, and that is you know one way of doing it. Obviously that can be quite hard when you have a lot of data but i suppose bar charts are mainly used for kind of small comparison between different things you know you're not going to have a hundred different bar charts on one plot because it's very hard to infer the data that you know it'd be very confusing and different colors would be distracting so bar charts are very handy in this sense for you know smaller sets so you know fewer toys in this example if there are a lot of toys it may look a bit silly to have you know loads and loads of <laughs> different lines so there we go that is how you plot an awesome looking bar chart. The final thing that I'm going to show you is how you can change it to be horizontal. So I appreciate you may not want your bar charts to be vertical, you want them to be horizontal. And the very easy way that you do that is by swapping here where you have bar, is you're just going to put bar h. Now what uh, is, you're just going to put bar h and that means horizontal. So we'll rerun this and I'll show you what happens. We have an error here. So bar h got multiple values for argument width. Okay, so I assume that is because the default will be set to one. So we'll just remove the width from here. Hopefully, there we go, awesome. I assume what just happened there was the default for bar H is one and it will only allow you to do to do one. I'll just test it out again, see if width, you know, will go back to one. I think there are different, yeah, it, we got the same error again. So that's just something to bear in mind with bar versus bar H is that I don't think you can change the width to be um, the way that you want it to do because it's obviously going to be like this. Awesome, there you go, that's how you do a horizontal bar chart. That is so, so cool. So again, you know, you can make this even larger, you can add a few more elements in here, you can have one, you can have less. Um, I quite like vertical, I think vertical looks pretty cool. So we'll rerun this. There we go, awesome. How cool is that? You have plotted your very own bar chart and again, this can be changed. It doesn't have to be toys. It can honestly be anything, um, you know, anything that you can possibly imagine <laughs> you can put into here. So have a play around with it and see what you come up with on your bar chart. So that has been the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to support the channel even further, then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification with it so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also check out the donation link in the description of this video. But for now, I will see you all in the next video.